Hello friends. Today I will tell you about natural treatments and home remedies for West Nile virus. In the United States of America, the West Nile virus is commonly found and thousands of people each year are affected by it. It is noticed that the Colorado is the third most infected country in the United States. Scientists have found that at least 40 mosquito species can transmit the West Nile virus. There are many people who get infected with the West Nile virus and they do not correlate their symptoms with this disease. Most people affected with the West Nile virus cover completely, but the fatigue and weakness can last for few weeks or months. The mild symptoms of West Nile virus include rash, vomiting, diarrhea, joint pain, headache, body aches and fever. Few people who are infected with the West Nile virus will develop a serious neurological illness such as meningitis or encephalitis. The severe symptoms of West Nile virus include paralysis, seizures, tremors, coma, disorientation and high fever. There is no specific cure or medicine for the West Nile virus. This is a reason why it is very important to emphasize prevention, such as washing with anti-mosquito soap, covering your skin at dusk and staying away from standing water. Usually, the infected mosquitoes spread the West Nile virus. The mosquito first bites an infected bird and then, it bites another animal or a human. There are rare cases when pregnancy, breastfeeding, organ transplants and blood transfusions can transfer this virus and spread the illness. You need to remember that the West Nile virus cannot be spread by touching another infected person or by kissing. You need to talk with your doctor if you suffer from the West Nile virus before you start using some of the below mentioned home remedies for this condition. Here are some home remedies for West Nile virus. Here are some home remedies for West Nile virus. Number 1. Get in the sun. We know that the vitamin D is one of the most important vitamins for regulating the immune system. Also, it can reduce the fatigue and protect against viruses. Also, this vitamin can help to prevent infections due to its ability to support the immune system. Sun is the best source of vitamin D, but it is not always easy available, especially in the winter months. So in this period you can take supplement with oral vitamin D3. You should always look for supplements that have least additives. You need to take 1000 to 25 pounds of body weight on daily basis. You can consume it with fat for best absorption. But, we recommend you talking with your doctor, so he or she can tell you if this amount will be good for your body in the fight against the West Nile virus. Number 2. Eat and drink detoxifying food and beverages. When you are fighting a disease or infection, then your body needs as much help as possible detoxifying the virus. Some of the best drinking options include turmeric tea, apple cider vinegar and lemon water. Also, there are some herbs which can help you a lot, such as parsley, cilantro and basil. You can add foods, like coconut oil cod liver oil, raw goat ear, leafy greens, and broccoli, because they can help to fight against the West Nile virus and it will push it out of your body. Number 3. Wash your hands. You need to wash your hands properly and at the right time, because most of hidden germs hotspots have something in common, which are places that hands go over and over again. Many people do not wash their hands properly. This means that the infectious germs are getting a free pass. You need to wash your hands with soap and wash them for 20 seconds. Also, when you are preparing your food or when you are eating, you should wash your hands first. If you are caring for a sick person or if you have wounds, then wash your hands before you touch something else. Also, you need to wash your hands after doing particularly dirty things, which includes handling dirty diapers, blowing your nose, using the toilet, taking out the garbage and petting animals. 
Number 4. Consume easily digestible foods. When your body fights against the West Nile virus, then it needs as much energy as it can to fight the problem. Digestion is taking a lot of our energy, so we need to give it as much as a break as we can to heal faster. Some of the best options which you can add in your diet against the West Nile virus include kefir, smoothies, teas and vegetable soups. Number 5. Lemon. You can add this natural cure in your diet, because it is rich in vitamin C and it can help you to have good immune system, which will fight against the West Nile virus. You can consume it raw form or you can make it as juice. When you have a strong immune system, then your body will be better at fighting against West Nile virus. Number 6. Rosemary. This natural cure can be used in the fight against West Nile virus due to its antiviral and diaphoretic properties. The active ingredients in rosemary seek out viruses and neutralize them, but also it can help to open pores and stimulate the sweating, which quickly detoxifies the body and eliminate the virus before it has a chance to do major harm to your body. Number 7. Avoid sugar and grains. You should not eat sugar and grains in your diet, because they feed the bacteria and viruses in your body, as well as increasing the inflammation. You need to avoid sugar from all foods, because all diseases feed off sugar, so you want to take this invader out from your body. Sugar will worsen the symptoms of West Nile virus so you need to avoid it as much as you can from your diet. Number 8. Avoid swimming pools. It is known that many swimming pools are cause for many different diseases, so you have chance of getting the West Nile virus by swimming in it. Many swimming pools have poop, because children often do not make to go the toilet. There are many different bacteria in poop. So you better avoid it. If you are going to some pool that is not sure, then you better not use it. So you will have a reduced risk of getting the West Nile virus. Please note, these remedies may not be suitable for everyone, so, you should select one that suits you, and if required, kindly consult your doctor. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.